some healthy food for the weekend. I don't know, do any of you guys struggle to eat healthy on the weekend? And do you have limited time? Right now I got a baby who's about to lose my attention, so this has to be quick, and I know you guys want it quick too. So, we are gonna teach you how to do his and her style meal prep with about seven to 10 different meal combinations that you can do in 20 minutes or less when you get home from work on Friday night. And actually, this started this morning. This morning, all I did was took some chicken breast, I put them in the crock pot, nothing else. Set it on low. Austin, you wanna join me? Do you wanna join me for this video? I think you guys want to leave Austin, huh? All right. So we put the chicken breast in the crock pot this morning, set it on low while you're at work, and then just let it cook. When you get home from work, you're gonna take the chicken breast out of the crock pot, put it in the bowl, dump out any of the liquid, I promise you it's gonna be super tender. I only needed some tongs to get it shredded. So I just shredded it up, threw it back in the crock pot, eyeballed some buffalo sauce, dumped in some buffalo sauce, and now it's just warming. You can also add in some peppers and onions if you want. If you wanna add some Greek yogurt or some cheese to make it a little more creamy, you can. Austin does not like onions and Austin does not like dairy. So we keep it to buffalo sauce, but it tastes amazing. So here's the thing. My husband does not like to eat healthy like me. Um, he actually struggles, struggles to keep his weight. So what he will do is take that and make it into a buffalo chicken sandwich tonight. He'll probably have some chips or something along with it. I will make it into a buffalo chicken salad. So a big bowl of spinach, I will put the buffalo chicken on it, and then maybe some other vegetables, maybe some like nuts or something healthy for some healthy fats. Boom, quick, easy dinner done for tonight. I can also take that tomorrow, put it on a wrap. I can even put it on eggs in the morning for my breakfast. If you guys like buffalo, it's amazing to have that extra protein in the morning for breakfast. So this gives you a lot of different options that you can do, plus plenty of leftovers. So you can throw as much chicken in you want, just eyeball the buffalo sauce. Then I am cooking up some ground turkey, and we are gonna do two things with this. Now this is our compromise. So we do this instead of ground beef. And so what we're gonna do is make this into two different things. We're gonna do half taco meat and then half a tomato um, a sauce for spaghetti. So what we then do with this, half to the taco meat, I can make into again a taco salad, I can do it on a wrap, I can put it on eggs in the morning for breakfast. I love doing different meats on my eggs to give it like, this will be like a Mexican style breakfast. Um, then my husband can take it and put it on a big taco shell. He can load it up with sour cream and cheese and all that stuff that he wants. We're both eating the same thing, but we're making it his and her friendly. Amory might put this in a bowl. I might even add some cauliflower rice for him. Um, normally, I love to do like big cauliflower rice bowls when I do tacos, but again, Austin can't have that. But that's an option for you guys. Make a big taco bowl with, with spinach and cauliflower rice and peppers and onions, and you can do some like bolt house ranch dressing instead of sour cream, or you can even do Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Make it nice and healthy. And then the other half we are gonna make into pasta sauce. So all they have to do is boil a pot of pasta for the boys and they can make that into their topping and I'm gonna use a spaghetti squash. You guys, I don't even know if I can pick this up one-handed. We're gonna try it. This is one of the biggest spaghetti squash I have ever, ever found. So I'm gonna use this for the base of my pasta. This is huge, so you want to make sure you poke at least 10 big holes in this. You do not want this blowing up in your microwave. So what you do is poke big holes in it. This is probably gonna cook for 15 to 20 minutes in the microwave. I let it cool, cut it in half, remove the seeds, which you'll see them when you cut it in half, and then to shred it. And then this is my base, my pasta. Um, one cup of this has about 35 calories. So you can have big portions of food and not feel like you're restricting yourself, not feel like you're missing out, and get full. That's what I love about this. It's loaded with fiber, so it's gonna help you stay full, and you're not gonna be wanting to crave all the junk all weekend, which is nice. Um, so I can take, now you guys, I can use the buffalo sauce on the spaghetti squash. I can use the taco meat on the spaghetti squash. You can mix and match all these things to get a bunch of different meals for the weekend. And it's so quick and easy, 20 minutes. As long as it took to cut up and brown this turkey meat is really as long as it took. Enough that Austin is still content, so we are doing good. And the best thing, it is Friday night, you guys, so you can have a little glass of wine while you do it, listen to some music. We were singing and dancing while we were cooking. You guys can still have those treats on the weekends, and I want you to know that. I want you to know that if you plan them, not just do them like will, unwillingly or in the heat of the moment, you can still have a glass of wine and lose weight. You can still have a bite of cake 
have a weekend and lose weight. But if you set yourself up for success this way, it's going to make it so much easier. That way, you don't be tempted tomorrow night to go out for pizza and then you're eating pizza and having wine and eating waffles for breakfast because you have nothing made up, right? Being prepared is the simplest way and this was so quick, so easy, you hardly need any ingredients and it's cheap and affordable. Wait, we spent, um, what we spent for this was way less than even if one meal out this weekend. So you guys, if you like more of his and her style recipes, this is an easy way to make it kid friendly. This is how I teach my clients to eat. Healthy lifestyle, simple and easy to make it for husband, wife, picky kids, affordable, doesn't take a lot of time. This is how I approach my nutrition. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. I'm giving more recipes next week in my free group. This is our first ever app-based group. If you guys want in, this is the last call to join that with us. There'll be more recipes, you get more workouts, and you get me for the week to help you with all of your nutrition and exercise needs. So, all right, Austin, are you getting fussy? All right, guys, if you have any questions, let us know. We hope you are having a great, great weekend, and we will talk to you soon.